Welcome back. Congress is in the middle of working through three different spending vehicles at the same time. It'll probably need to pass a continuing resolution to replace the one that expires Friday, and it's working on an omnibus spending bill and another stimulus bill at the same time. Mike Hettinger is president of Hettinger Strategy Group. Rich Butel is principal at Cirrus Analytics. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, Rich, Mike said it best, I think, before we went on the air. He said, there's never a dull moment. How do we sort through all of the things that Congress is dealing with this week? Well, I think that we need to look at, at how they're moving forward with respect to both timing and content. I mean, the defense authorization bill has a lot of very unique characters, particularly around artificial intelligence um, and the, the uh, uh, adoption of the Solarium Commission. Mike, how do we put all these pieces together? I didn't even mention the NDAA because uh, I, I was focused on the spending bills. Adding the authorization in here at the same time is just another uh, element of the, another ingredient in this stew, isn't it? it? It is. I mean, I think at the end of the day, Francis, this is, you know, what we see at the end of every year, right? And, and it complicated a little bit now by a presidential transition, complicated by, you know, some of the other things that are that are happening in town. At the end of the day, you know, we're looking, I think, right now at a, at a um, December 18th continuing resolution. I think all of us knew um, when they picked the December 11th date that that was going to be challenging, right, because it could be in the middle of a, of a transition. It could be bumping up against um, the Christmas holiday, right? All those things are, are challenging, throw in, um, the potential for a stimulus bill, and um, and now you've got a, a lot of different factors. So um, you know we'll see how it all plays out, but hopefully they're able to resolve this stuff before the uh, before the end of the year. So the December 18th date, Mike, is what you expect to see a week long CR uh, to give both sides a chance to kind of patch the rest of the pieces together. Yeah, that's right. I mean that's what they're talking about now. But you know if if we were having this conversation a week ago. There was a lot of talk last week about a potential, you know, longer term continuing resolution, something that might take us to, you know, the February time frame. So, I mean, I think now we're looking at that December 18th date, but um, but you never know. Things could change. It always it always does at this time of year. Um, and again, the stimulus, you know, they're talking about a, a bipartisan, you know, about nine hundred billion dollar stimulus bill, which has the potential to you know, complicate this stuff as well. Rich, what do you think are the most important things that people inside the agency should be paying attention to in all of this mix? Is it just the date of, uh, uh, of the funding bills and when it gets passed? Are there other pieces of all of this that people should watch? Well, I think the continuation of, of, uh, of COVID spending and, and stimulus measures are very important, particularly around issues that we care about, such as funding the uh, Technology Modernization Fund. Um, and the extension of Section 3610, which provides relief for contractors who can't access uh, to physical facilities. So I'd be paying attention to those things that drive IT modernization. What do you see, Rich, in all of this for IT modernization specifically? There's been a lot of conversation that the stimulus bill should include some kind of money for the technology modernization fund or, or, or to go directly to agencies. What's, where does all of that stand right now? Well, right now you've only got 25 million uh, for the stimulus for the uh, uh, for the technology modernization fund that was in the FSSG appropriation bill. Um, and it doesn't look like they're going to get more money, which is unfortunate, I believe, uh, because I think this is important uh, money for uh, agencies to move forward with their legacy IT upgrades. Mike, those uh, those legacy upgrades, uh, the agencies that have been doing those before the pandemic started are saying, boy, we're glad we're started. We, we, it gave us an edge in being able to, to continue to deliver on mission throughout the pandemic. Is that a selling point, do you think, to go to Congress and say, you really should put more money into this, whether it's in the extended deal for 2021 or for 2022? Well, I, I think a lot of these issues are going to bleed over into 2022. I mean, I think I've always thought that, right? And and I was a little surprised, and we may have talked about this before on on the program, that you know more of the of the IT spending priorities that we identified in the CARES Act were not addressed in um, the fiscal 21 bills. But as we move from our current environment to you know a post-COVID 
um, IT environment, I think we're going to have to take a step back and figure out, you know, what do we need to invest in, right? Do we need more um, spending on infrastructure? Do we need to make sure that um, employees who are working from home have commercial business grade um, VPN access? And, um, you know, how do we incorporate um, security into that, zero trust, all these, all these sorts of things um, that are really coming to the forefront now, because as we've talked about before, you know, COVID's really changed the way we think about these issues. And, and as we move into, you know, next year's spending bills, we need to account for that. Rich, what would you like to see, what markers would you like to see the new administration lay down regarding that? Will that, uh, will that uh, kind of, will the, the predictor of that kind of be the choices that the administration makes for IT leadership? Or will there be other things that you think will be indicators of how the, the new administration will try to move forward? Well, I mean, people is policy, um, and for the extent that we bring folks that are innovative and cloud forward in their thinking, um, I think we'll, to maintain the momentum that, that has occurred to date is going to be very important. We've got good uh, career leadership on these issues, people like Maria wrote and others that are very, very solid, uh, and, and I hope that we can continue that. We see a lot of the former uh, U.S. Digital Service folks coming in uh, to this central administ to this administration. Um, and we hope that, that they bring people with that vision. Rich Butel, Mike Hettinger, thanks both very much for coming on. Great to have you. Thank thanks, you. Francis.